on our comedy club for showtime. Now, please put those hands together and welcome to the stage your comedy club host. Give it up for Goaty! back right here at the Limelight Lounge. How's everybody doing today? All good? Yes! You all know this is the, li the last comedy show of your cruise and as well as I know right it is sad. Yeah, You're all ready to go home? You want to stay some more? Get those credit cards ready. <laughs> because I am ready. <laughs> All right now, so basically performing right here on, we actually save the best for last because we have one of the best comedian right of the country ever had ever produced, right? And he actually had performed in Comedy Central and in Showtime. I think everybody has seen and heard him already, yes? Who will be the first timers who could actually hear Manny tonight? Can you can you can I see some hands? Make some noise. There you go. Ooh, virgins. I like it. All right, you all know this is an R18 show, yes? So we're gonna talk about anything and everything under the sun. So for those who are sensitive or who could easily get offended, this is time for you to get out and do whatever you want because this is not a show for you. Because tonight we're gonna have some fun. Oh yeah, baby. Make sure that you have those drinks prepared. Get the grab or grab the attention of our waiters and waitresses, please. And make those chit chats into the middle. And the laughter too. That is right. Now the big question is, are you guys ready for the show? Yeah. Why don't we all make some noise? And welcome here onto the stage all the way from Long Beach, California, Manny Maldonado! People, they're like, what the fuck? It's driving me where? <laughs> All right, last show. Shit. I, yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys already, man. It's been a, it's been an interesting, fucking fun week. It really has. Thank you guys. Uh, my man Salvador came to my early show. I don't know if you guys know Salvador, but he is one of the most hardcore Mexicans ever. Okay. Stand up, Salvador, real quick. Stand up. Parate, parate. Um, <laughs> he looks like the Tapatio man and shit, so... This guy's so fucking Mexican. He brought up his own personal bottle of hot sauce on this trip. He's like, no, I bring it with me everywhere. <laughs> Such an immigrant, I fucking love him. <laughs> so fucking cool. But yeah, this is it, this is it, man. So, uh, what what was your guys' favorite part of the cruise? Uh, I mean, really, like, what it, what stood out? When the what? Oh, I'm not talking about my drama, okay? I'm not talking about the lights fucking coming out and shit. That was that, that was the first night I got here. The lights went out. I can deal with it, bitch. It was fucking crazy. No, but other other like the cruise in general. Like, what did you guys enjoy? The service. The food. Me, We're you're gay. Um, <laughs> I'm just part of the entertainment, sir. I'm not here to satisfy you, okay? So, I'm just here to do my job. This is it. Uh, I, I enjoyed all you guys. You guys have been really fucking pleasant. And, and seriously, thank you guys for making me feel welcome. I, I know I, I, I've met so many new white friends. It's just, um, <laughs> they just get comfortable. That's the only thing. Why people get, they used to, they, hey, 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 fucking goddamn it, love you. You know what I mean? They just get, fucking, hey, can you paint my house after you fucking show? Like, you know. <laughs> uh, I can, I can. That's the thing. I can paint after I get okay. off the barco. Okay, so. Huh? Now, there were so many relationships that anybody actually. 
want to break up with their loved one now after this trip. Did anybody just look at each other and go, it's fucking over as soon as we get to Long Beach. Did anybody get to that point? Anybody get that pissed off at their loved ones? You did, sweetie? What, what? You did? Are you like, you already want to divorce? Is he with you right now? He's, he's behind you. Okay. What, what was the tipping point? What made you say, you know what, fuck him, he ain't shit. Day one. Shit. She got on the boat pissed off. Like, she just had her luggage, like, fucking asshole, you know what I mean? Just, he was already pissing you off. What did he do to piss you off, sweetie? He likes to push you? Obviously not far enough, not off the ship, so. Maybe the next cruise, he'd be like, oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> what, what, what did you do wrong, bro? What happened, what did you do wrong? Everything? You were fucking breathing, right? Women hate when men fucking breathe. Like, why are you breathing? I don't, because I have to, babe. <laughs> well, you're breathing too hard. I know. <laughs> Get your fucking CPAP and shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Just... <laughs> you know? How long have you guys been married, man? Too long. <laughs> Look, he just... He's just looking at her like she has all the answers. Just tell him, babe, you have my balls in your hand anyway. Just crush them fucking harder. Just crush them. Just crush them. How many years, sir? I'll ask you. It's okay. You're free right now. It's okay. Two years. Fucking, you already want to kill each other already? Fuck, that's only two Christmases, all right? That's 36 phone bills. I'm counting this shit. That's it. It's that bad? And he's like, no, she's just talking shit. <laughs> and last night, you were, when you were laying the pipe, it was all good, though, huh? Fucking, last night, I was like, yeah, bingo this, bitch. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Bingo! <laughs> Where, and, and he, are there any older people left here on the show? Because I've met so many older, old fucking people on this ship. Like, old. Like, you know, they come, hey, Manny, hey, hey. <laughs> I like older people, but sometimes they just, they, they want to give too much advice. Like, hey, man, back in my day, <laughs> you know. Yeah, they tell me shit, back in my days, women were respectable, <laughs> and it just got me scared. I'm like, fuck, what am I going to say when I'm old, you know? When I'm all fucking, like, old, old, like, what am I, I'm going to go to people, back in my days, <laughs> <laughs> I'm breathing. Oh God, I'm we were respectable. You used to send them dick pics. They were, you know what I mean? It's just, it's my, that's my fucking future, you know? <laughs> you know? Back in my days, we had threesomes. It was fucking respectable. You know? <laughs> I've met so many people. It's been nice. And look, and, and how many couples do we have in the house? Any couples? Yeah. Okay. okay. You guys are the happy couple right here? You guys just How many years? How many years? You've come to all the shows. How many years? What time is it? Um hold on, I'll look real quick. It's on last nine forty something, that's it. Yeah, well, you guys only been together for an hour? Oh, this shit just happened. Oh fuck, okay, shit. I didn't know you guys had a dating service here on the carnival fucking app. Nobody told me about that shit. Did anybody else find love on the ship? Anybody? Anybody else finds For an hour. For an hour? Oh oh you're just a prostitute. Okay, cool. Um, just, this is gonna cost you. Your sale and sign card, like everything on the card. Just It's just Okay, you're a, this is a new kind of prostitute that they fucking How come they didn't I didn't see you on the app like Kim Hi hiring Oh, look at you. You're a fucking confident prostitute, too. You're like, you didn't look at the right app. You didn't look at the right one. Look at Salvador. His dick's getting all hard. I have hot sauce for you. I give you two chiles, mine and a bottle. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so this just happened. Oh, shit. Okay. And, and you work, I, I heard you earlier, you work at, in the what? No, you don't work in the airline business. But I do work in aviation. Well, now. Aviation. Now you're working the, the ship, too. Uh, you, work, you went from the planes to the ship? Okay. This is a new kind of prostitute, you guys. Um, apparently, you survived COVID very fucking well. You got many jobs. Okay. Where are you originally from? Um, from California, but I live in Vegas. Okay, okay. This is making a lot of sense. 
You're hustling motherfuckers from state to state. And now you're going from ship to ship. And how did this come about? You just saw her and she, it was, there was an ad or what's going on? <laughs> and then you found her. Oh, so you guys, this, yeah, this, isn't, this is longer than an hour. Well, it's, uh, we gotta figure this shit out. You gotta figure this shit out, yes, because <laughs> on the boat, you just figure shit out. Because th don't we have a crazy, don't we have an awesome cruise director? Isn't he fucking amazing? Yeah. Did you guys enjoy Christian or what? Was, yeah. Is he awesome? Yeah. Christian awesome? I, I lost five pounds just watching him do the Zumba. Just because he just... <laughs> I was just in the corner just masturbating. Do it more, Christian, do it! Just do it, Christian, do it! Choose fun, choose fun, choose fun! <laughs> you didn't like that one, sweetie? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're gonna fuck this. I'm gonna put that in the review. Man, he's making fun of Christian. <laughs> he's a friend of mine, we're good. <laughs> but look, like I said, you couples have it so, I'm so jealous of you, but here's the thing. I, I'm not a fan of Valentine's Day. I feel like Valentine's Day should be in August. Spread the shit out a little bit, yeah. Because for some of the fellas, they haven't recovered from fucking Christmas, all right? And it's not fair, because your girl's like, 88 days, guess what, babe? What do you mean, guess what, bitch? I haven't even paid off the shit that I got you 88 days ago. Be grateful. What the fuck is your problem, you know? And it's not fair, right, man? The flowers and roses are like $114. Ridiculous. Even the Mexican on the side of the road, today, $114. You know? Tomorrow, $10. I'm like, damn, Salvador. Um... not right but as men we try our best now how many people have, are in a relationship like 40 years plus by round of applause 40 years okay how, how many years over here sweetie okay for 40 years marriage nice that's awesome now is your husband here with you <laughs> why is he sitting with the fuck see this is what I know you can tell who's been with each other for a long fucking time they're like, I'm sitting here, he's way the fuck over there. He spent way too much money on the casino. Fuck him, he's punished. <laughs> he's clapping, it's true, sir. Well, how much do you lose, sir? You don't even want to say, it's that bad. It's gonna be a long, where are you guys? Oh, he doesn't tell you. Where are you guys from? SoCal. Okay, so it's not that bad of him. What part of Southern California? Oh, Redlands, okay, cool, yeah. So here's the thing. Now, to the casino, by the way, and that's cool that you guys donate to the casino because that's what you're doing, you're just donating. I haven't seen, and I've seen people, I'm not lying, for five or six hours with that dumb fucking claw game. And, and it's like, if kids can understand a Chuck E. Cheese that they're not gonna fucking win. But get the adults on, no, fuck you, I'm throwing $300 in that shit. The claw's like, again, you dumb motherfucker, again, again. Again, again. <laughs> I saw a guy put $700 and he got $50 back and he was so fucking happy. He was like, it's about time! You guys were just donating that money. The claw was like, oh, my bitch. Was... <laughs> Here's the thing. Now, when you're, oh, obviously you're in the doghouse because you're sitting way over there, sir. And what's your... Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, so your kids can't get out? Are the kids like held hostage here? What's the fuck's going on? Because we're trying to do something as a family. Oh, and you picked the beaner to entertain you as a fucking family. You could have picked Salvador with his special hot sauce. But you picked, no, let's go. Let's go see the Latino do his thing. <laughs> okay, kids. What, how old are the kids over here? Oh. There's not even, there's old ass fucking kids that don't want to move out of the fucking house. I fucking love it. There's just, yeah. Because <laughs> that's what scares me. Some of these women I'm dating have, they have just adults living there. They, they're called kids, but they're fucking adults. They scare me. I'll get there and they're like, what's up? I'm, I'm like, nothing. Um, I'm just here to bone your mom, bro. Like, what? Why the fuck are you still living here, man? Move the fuck out, you fucking grown ass kid. Fucking, fucking 23 years old, like shit, yeah, whatever, bitch, I'll fuck you up. Yeah, you probably will, but I still wanna fuck your mom, man. Like, why the fuck you living here, man? <laughs> These are jokes. Um, <laughs> now, let me ask the man a 
quick question. Now, like I said, sir, and what's your name? You've been a good gentleman already. Greg. Greg. Safe, white name. Okay, good. <laughs> Greg, when you're in trouble with your lovely wife here, now, what do you do? Do, do you buy her a card? Because that's a common thing, right, men? That's what we like to do. If, if, we're, if we fucked up, like my man, you, you guys been dating for a while? If you fuck up, what do you do? You buy a card, right? Yeah? Do you, are you understanding English? Or you just, <laughs> you're, just, you're just looking at me like, oh. <laughs> you look at me like you just got flushed down the fucking toilet that they have in the room because it, it's such a such strong suction, right? They're just, right? The, the toilets in here, they will fucking flush you fast. They, like, they can flush you from one country to another. Like, <laughs> okay. Because that's what we do as men. We buy, our, if we fuck up, we buy a, a card. Now, Hallmark is smart. They done build a whole store full of cards because women have a lot of emotional things that they go through. So there's a big ass store full of cards for every kind of emotional thing a woman's going through. I'm not lying, they have a foot card. Like if a girl has a fucked up foot, <laughs> boom, they, had a, they have a card for that shit. The card reads like this. Hey girl, I know you only have three toes. <laughs> it's okay, I love you, you know what I mean? You ever read some of the poetry on some of these Hallmark cards? It's the best shit ever. It's fucking amazing. It's like the autumn, wind, the fall. It's like, you know, you're the greatest of them all. Girls love that shit. Like, yeah! They love that shit. They need a Hallmark section for shit that I can relate to. The cards will read a lot different. Oh yeah, it'd be like, dear landlord. <laughs> you're never gonna get the rents. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Hey girl, that's not my baby. You know what I mean? They need some shit. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a this is a fun job, man. I, this is what I do. It's pretty cool. I, I you know just tell jokes, ha ha ha, he he he, oh, oh, whatever. And here's the thing. Uh, it, it pays me okay too. I got me a nice BMW. Yes, uh, big Mexican woman. Okay. Um, yeah. My girl's so fat, she wears size. Fuck it, okay? Um, she got a tattoo of carne asada right here and shit. Um, did I lose you on that one, Asian? I'm so sorry. Yo, what is carne asada? <laughs> what, what's your nationality? What, what part, what Asian part? <laughs> no? What's that? You prefer not to say? There's a shitload of fucking Asians on this fucking shit. <laughs> Have you seen all my Filipino brothers? Fucking let that shit out. Don't be all fucking special and bougie and shit. What part of Asia are you from? You're from Thailand. Oh. Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> judging me like oh shit <laughs> let it out bro where you from so me yes Vegas. You. huh Vegas Vegas no no well, come on you look you're different <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> I'm not a... immigration sir it's okay <laughs> he's like uh, uh, um, I'm, uh, 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 Vegas <laughs> what's your nationality thank you come again oh shit you're fucking I like you already doing it. He said, thank you, come again, how you doing? <laughs> I fucking love your accent, it's the best ever. You can never get pissed off, because you always say, my friend. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you asshole, my friend. <laughs> is this your lovely wife right here? Yep. <laughs> He's like, yes, yes, there, yes, yes, that is her, that is her, I love it. Arranged marriage? No. <laughs> no? Normal? Normal. Oh shit, you're a different kind of Indian, okay. Yep. Normal. Okay, where'd you guys be that? They tried though, but no. Oh, oh, the parents are there? The parents tried? Yeah, they tried. They tried to arrange the shit? That's kind of fucked up, huh? Arrange shit? Like, you never met somebody? You're going to marry him whether you like it or not. That's like the worst fucking eHarmony date ever. You just show up, bitch, you're married. Right there. <laughs> What's up? Is that how you guys two got married? Oh, the, the parents did? That's how you hooked up? That's some bullshit. It's fucking not fair, I know. It is not fair. You never met the man. You don't know if he has a big penis or not. You just, you just like, I don't know, I guess. 
you know. <laughs> you got to lick it before you. <laughs> Look at that face. Laugh, bro. You're just like, you're just like. I, I do not want to laugh. I'm going to hell. <laughs> Let the shit out. See, this is what I'm talking about. You. That's one thing we learned about COVID. Fucking laugh like there's no tomorrow, because you never know. Because we were on punishment. We were like a bunch of little fucking kids on timeout. Fucking let that shit out. Laugh your ass off. The Indian people in the house, fucking Thailand, me so horny. Fucking laugh that shit out. If you see a midget, fall the fuck down. Fucking laugh your ass off. Fucking don't even pick him up. Just kick him again. Fucking fall down, bitch. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Fucking COVID, man. That shit fucked up my life for a while. I was doing shows on, on Zoom. It was fucking awful. <laughs> Nobody was laughing. They would just click, like, click, 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 click. <laughs> Fuck! Doing shows on Zoom, it was like a stripper with no pole. It made no fucking sense whatsoever. So that's great. How long have you guys been married, man? 20 years. <laughs> the mom's like 15 and he said 22. What the fuck? No, they're, they're 50. We're 20. Oh, they're 50. 52. Oh, you're 52. 52 Man. years. Man, I manage. Get <laughs> <laughs> up your voice, you fucking... Ah! It's, it's, isn't that the coolest accent ever? It's the fucking best. Because even if you're talking like it, I can never see you guys do porn. It'd be the worst shit ever. <laughs> there you go. I know you like it. Just, just... Trust me. I know it feels good. Right now, we are going to the other bedroom to do the 69. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Oh, he said this now. This guy wants to chime in. Thank you. Please come again. What the fuck? You guys are awesome. Give it up for them. They've been good sports. I love you guys. What's your name, sir? I want to tweet about you. I can't believe it. Milan. What's up? Milan. Milan. Milan, like the city in Italy. Oh, Milan. Oh, fuck, my bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Milan, I'm rich, motherfucker. Watch out. I own five 7-Elevens in Vegas. Don't fuck with me. You will be pumping my gas tomorrow. Actually, Milan, I, I, don't, I don't believe in cars anymore because the gas is so fucking expensive. I've had a horse for like two months now. I was like, fuck this shit. Come on, Vegas, let's get your ass to Carnival. Hurry up, bitch. <laughs> Now, my thing is this. As men, we try our hardest. We do. But ladies, just let us know if you're upset right there and then. That's, that, that's it. A lot of, no, no, why? Why do you ladies don't want to tell us that you're mad right there and then? You don't, you're just like, no, 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 exactly, exactly. Look, even the older Indian lady, no, I don't need to tell them anything, no. Why do you, why? When you're mad at your husband, you don't you just don't tell him that you're why do you do that? Just kick him. Just you just kick him? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> shit, you're a rough Indian, okay? Um, here's the thing. Ladies, just why do you guys do that? You guys are like, no, no, no. Like he's like, you hold it in. A lot of women like do that. Oh no. You, you'll be pissed off, but you won't fucking tell your man that you're upset right there. You're like, oh no, I'm good, you're good, hashtag us forever. You know what I mean? <laughs> but on the inside, you're pissed off like you have no idea how pissed off I am, you son of a bitch. When you least expect it, the wrath of hell's coming. You're not gonna know when, where, or why, or what day, or what time, but it's coming, motherfucker. <laughs> That's what happened with me and my ex wife. She was mad about some shit I did in 2011. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't see it coming, fellas. I came home. I was all happy. I was like, la, 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 la. Fucking happy. I put my hand on the doorknob. I started hearing some weird sounds like, I'm like, holy shit, is this my house? Oh, my God. Because she sounded like that guy, Jigsaw. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. You know? I walk in. She starts yelling at me. She sounds like Chris Rock. She's like, good Lord. I'm sick and tired, tired, tired. Oh, you punk ass shit, motherfucker. Like that. You know? <laughs> there was no Will Smith back then, okay? Uh, <laughs> to help me out for shit, okay? I just love that voice, man, because if Chris Rock was to do feminine commercials, ladies. Oh shit, is this shit fucking up? Here we go again. Uh, 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 are, are we gonna have another malfunction, ma please? I, I, I'm almost done with this show, please. Uh, why am I holding this? Like, I can't, it's a dick or something. That's fucking. 
I don't know how you ladies do it. Hold on, just, just, just <laughs> show them how you do it. Show them how you do it. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh she, she went. Ah. <laughs> I just, I just love that voice. I just love Chris Rock's voice. Cause if he was to do feminine commercials, ladies, I'd be paying attention. All right. Like, hey, girl, don't you hate it when your pussy's itching like a motherfucker? <laughs> you be scratching this shit going, come on. How much for a rib? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the late, great Bernie Mac doing feminine commercials? Yeah, it goes something like this. Hey, ladies, let me ask you a motherfucking question. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had that not so fresh feeling? <laughs> And your shit's itching like a motherfucker. You be scratching this shit. How to get rid of this son of a bitch? <laughs> Look at the white people. Who the fuck is Bernie motherfucker? <laughs> Greg, Bernie Mac was an African-American comedian that passed away way too motherfucking early. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm doing it in Spanish. Que paso, que paso, que paso. <laughs> Una vez es mujeres cuando están rascando la panocha. Duele mucho. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I just like characters once in a while. I like to dip in here and there. And one of my favorite movies of all time is Scarface. I love Scarface. Uh, yeah. Awesome movie. And I just wish Tony Montana was to do feminine commercials. That would be a lot fucking different too, okay? Be like this. Be like. And later. You ever had that nestle fresh fucking feeling, you know? And your fucking pussy is irritated, you know? It's agitated, you're fucking itchy and scratchy, like, oh, fuck, coin, you know, what the fuck is wrong with my chocha coin? What the fuck? You're fucking mad, you got a look on your face like you ever been fucked in a year, you know? Look at the pelican, look at the pelican fly! <laughs> my mom hates when I do that voice. Because I like to talk shit to my mom. I go, hey, mama! Happy Mother's Day, you fucking lesbian! <laughs> All right, a couple more, man. But before I get out of here, seriously, uh, yeah, no, I, I have to serve my contracts up. He's like, <laughs> it's like the way he said it, that was a weird white guy. So fucking don't, fucking don't get off, baby. Fucking love you, fuck. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to, to, to Gody. Let, let, let Gody here, please. He's gonna be an amazing, amazing host. A shout out to all the comedians, George Solano, Merle Hobbs, Drew Marks, those are my friends, give it up, give it up for them. Now, as an artist, we, we, we just, yeah, and now how about the round of applause for the sound guy, my sound people, and, and all the wait staff that's worked hard for you all week at the here. Now, I think uh, it's great to see Latinos really at the show, so I appreciate you guys too, so thank you. Thank you, thank you Salvador and, and family and, and my Thai Mexican right here, and my Indian family in Mexico. You guys are Mexicans too, You're, you know how it is. There's so many of us that we just turn into Indians, you know? And the one thing about our Latino culture is that we're very, we're very passionate people. We're very sexual for no reason. I don't know what it is about, like everybody, all my, to all my white friends, and we, we, have, we have white friends from, from Utah, from uh, from Texas, from Oklahoma, and where and California, where are the other? Where are my Las other? Las Vegas. Las yes, Las Vegas. There's white people there too. Yes, yes. And where where are my other white friends from out here? Wisconsin. What's up? Wisconsin. Oh no shit! Oh fucking cheese! What's up? What's up with cheese? So you're enjoying our weather, huh? Because it's cold as fuck out there. It's too cold. We're welcome. Wisconsin's in the house. You guys, that's, that's nice. Wisconsin. Do we got any Minnesota? Minnesota? Any Minnesota? Any Ohio? Any like that? No. Okay. Well, look. What's up? Ohio? Okay, cool. <laughs> do you guys have Latinos out there too? You have Mexicans? Yeah. You do? I like the way you said it. We do, we just captured some. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he set up a trap. We do, we caught him. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we're out there, man. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing to my Wisconsin friends and my Ohio friends, you guys have a homework assignment. When you go home tomorrow, watch the Spanish channel, okay? Watch something simple like a cereal commercial, right? 
You'll be butt naked by the time the commercial's over, I promise you, okay? You've seen them like, I see. Get us Fruity Pebbles, see. Es muy bueno para ti, sí. La banana, ay. La cherry, ay. Part of a balanced breakfast, sí. Sí. Fruity Pebbles, Fruity Pebbles, Fruity Pebbles. I had an amazing time. Thank you guys so much. I'm Manny Malinado. God bless. Enjoy the rest of your cruise. Thank you so much. One more time, give it up for Maddie Maldonado! Thank you so much, Maddie, again. I just wanted to mention if you have someone special that made your crew, it's just special, the crew, please write it down, write down their names, of course, all the comedians. Fernando, right over here, and you. It would be greatly appreciated, all right? And at the same time, oh, Sean. 